More than 20 years ago, Roger Penske started to build Formula One cars. He had already had a great deal of success in the U.S., winning in the Trans Am and the Can Am, in sports car racing and at the Indianapolis 500. Grand Prix racing in Europe, though, was a bigger challenge, a challenge made more difficult after the Grand Prix of Austria in 1975. They were one of the greatest owner-driver partnerships in history. Roger Penske and Mark Donahue won America's most prestigious events and championships for nearly a decade and set new standards of professionalism that changed the sport. After finishing an amazing third in their first Grand Prix in 1971, the two Americans joined the Formula One ranks full-time for the last two races of 1974 with the first Penske-designed and built Formula One car. After their easy success of 1971, they were shocked by their lack of competitiveness. A pair of fifth place finishes, the best they could do in their first full season. Then came the Austrian Grand Prix, where the team's poor results became insignificant. During the morning warm-up, Donahue suffered fatal head injuries in a high-speed crash. Penske's replacement for Donahue the next year was Irishman John Watson. By mid-season, the lessons learned over the past year and a half were paying off, and the Penske was inching closer to the front. Then came the Austrian Grand Prix, one year after Donahue's death. Racing is a sport full of irony. Penske was about to experience one of the sport's most ironic moments. For the first time, a Penske was on the front row. As the field went through the first turn, past the spot where Donahue had been killed, Watson took the lead. Roger Penske's car was now leading a Grand Prix for the first time. This would be a classic race. Watson had a mighty duel with Ronnie Peterson, while right behind them lurked James Hunt and Gunnar Nielsen. Peterson passed Watson to the lead and led for seven laps. Then Jody Schechter in the Carroll number three, who had carved his way through the field from 10th place on the grid, grabbed the lead, but just barely, from Peterson and Watson. But Peterson was quickly back in front. Then it was Watson's turn again, the fifth lead change in 12 laps. Lap after lap, Watson maintained a slight advantage over his pursuers who were passing and repassing each other, all trying to catch the Penske. Nielsen took up the chase. Then Jacques Lafitte in the Liget gave it a try. But Watson was able to hold on and gave Roger Penske his first and only Grand Prix victory on the track that killed his friend and the driver who had established the winning tradition of Penske racing. Penske stopped building Formula One cars after the 1976 season, devoting much of his efforts to winning Indianapolis and the Kart Series Championship. 